is Lisa, the studio manager at Pratt. The you run sculpture studio. all of sculpture. Mm -hmm. And sculpture is welding, blacksmithing, mold making, bronze casting, and we're in the stone yard, right? <laughs> stone yard. Because the, uh, the light is better out here. Yeah. Um, and so you run all of this for how many years? Um, I was hired as the studio manager in 2013 in September, so it's, it's just shy of seven years. Seven years. Um, but I've been teaching blacksmithing since uh, 2007. Right. And you, so in, Pat, in my world, you've been blacksmithing for my entire life. I, you know, when I met Lisa, she was blacksmithing, and I had like, I was a beginner, I was like, I'm learning, this is yeah. so new. And now you run the department um, doing beautiful master classes. Multiple times I've come in and just seen gorgeous work come out of the studio. Yeah, it's been nice to, to grow the program. The master artist program wasn't really happening in sculpture before I came in. No, it wasn't. So yeah, I keep forgetting, oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, we had lectures. Philip Baldwin showed up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, what was, uh, what was I love Phil. You filled the whole, oh, the whole room, everyone. We have everyone with the master lectures. <laughs> no, we like so we had a Rianos maybe. Who was that? Um, was a, there was a lot of people at that one, but I need to remember. Everybody, don't make me try to remember everybody. No, Kevin we Clemens. He had he had a master class here, and he was doing really big sculpture work that was kind of the jewel. Oh, John Medvedev. Oh, no, you mean Albert Paley? Yeah, <laughs> Albert Paley. Yeah, that was amazing too. Like, but yeah. there's a long list. Forgot about that too. You did that talk for free. Wow. Um, yeah, no, I have had, I've been able to bring some really great people in here, um, and I'm sad to go. Yeah. Uh, but it's the right time to go. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my graduate degree, master's in blacksmithing degree, um, and hopefully they will find someone to come in here and nurture this program just as well as I have. I'm sure leaving a lot of notes. <laughs> So Lisa, Lisa built this studio very, very thoroughly. We I have just helped it grow. Oh yeah, well, it's been built by people before. The Damascus program and the hydraulic presses and making sure the air hammers are maintained and that the stone yard gets, you know, the birth that it needs to we actually. Just upgraded run. things a bit. Yeah. So all of that flow. Ding. Here, we're gonna miss you. You're wonderful. Well, I really hope that someone wonderful uh, comes in that you will also love. Yes, we will always love Pat and whoever wants to help incubate this art. That's, yes, that's the perfect word, incubate. This place is an incubator for... I know, the thoughts, right? But you are always welcome here. Oh yeah, I'll, maybe I'll come back and teach a workshop. Once, once. <laughs> maybe in the summertime. No. Hopefully it's pretty hot. Well, yeah, that might be fun. Is there anything you want to say? Your parting goodbyes? Oh golly. Um, Pratt has been a really big part of my life here in Seattle. Mm -hmm. I moved here in 1997 and just barely had heard of Pratt and someone recommended it that I should take a class there and then I got a gift certificate to take a welding class in 98 mm -hmm. that I took the advanced welding class with Bill Faber Oh no. And it was awesome and I, I had forgotten how much because I hadn't been doing any metal work since I left school so it was like a year and a half or something. I was like, oh, I need to be a part of this again. You know how that feels. Yeah. Um, I think everybody's feeling that right now. And I put it in the back of my mind someday I want to teach at the Art Center. And that happened. awesome for a job like this because uh, in all other aspects it's a hurdle that is not easily jumped over yeah. if you don't have that master's degree. Yeah. So um, I think this place is wonderful for that, but not having that requirement and allowing people to 
be in a position like this and grow a department even without having that sort of experience. Yeah. You know, I had enough life experience before that. Yeah. It was a good one. Yeah. Well, and, and Pratt really incorporates teaching artists, so you get an entirely different worldview on the process. But it opens doors for people that may not have those doors open. Yep. They can yep. We don't require our teachers to have master's degrees either. We have, they just have to be able to do the job. Yeah. At least that's how I, that's how I hire people. Is if, if you can do the job and you have a competency in talking to people respectfully, okay, try it. <laughs>